Alright, so here we are. It's Saturday day after Valentine's Day. I got these four sacred shards that I've been saving up. And we're going to finally open them up and see if I get my first legendary or not. And while I'm thinking about it, I just want to say that why just why like we knew you tried to rape us on prices but why okay rant off um so i did not purchase that deal for these shards all right so if we go in the order that i got them this first shard will represent me three starring the was it hard level of the campaign so this is that shard let's see what I get from it okay an epic royal guard I do believe this is one of the better epics if my memory serves me right let's see 50% chance of placing a 60% decreased defense debuff so that will help out a lot as far as just getting bosses down tax all enemies damage increases according to the enemy max HP once again that's really good um, let's see and it's based off of attack and enemy that's based off attack stat wise yeah he's definitely an attacker Let's see, and um, third ability, attacks four times at random. Each hit has a 60% chance of placing a 30% decrease speed debuff for two turns. Each hit also has a 60% chance of decreasing the target's turn meter by 25%. So, okay, yeah, he's pretty awesome. And he'll come in handy in a lot of boss fights. So I will very likely be leveling him up in the near future and increases yeah that's just all good stuff all right so glad to have him he's not legendary but i'm glad to have him okay this next shard my memory serves me right this next shard would be from buying one of the better deals which was the uh pretty much the meme deal with the you're a very smart guy. If you buy this package, it included one of uh, the sacred shards, like three voids and five ancients. It's that $30 deal, which was a good value. Better value than the deal I showed you a second ago. So let's see what I get from that shard. Another epic. Let's see. Horden. I'm not so familiar with this guy. Attacks one time, it's extra turn at the target's killed. Okay. Decreased defense. Debuff for two turns. Heals the champion. It's decent. Um, places. Ah, uh, it's only on this champion. Is this 14? Hopefully. No, it just grants an extra turn. Now, if this was a team-wide buff, I'd be super excited about this guy. As is, he's, he's probably a good guy, but not as exciting as a Royal Guard was. Alright, on to the next one. So, this third chart will represent the compensation I got for getting banned and losing two full days of progress. Let's see if that's worth a legendary to uh, our developers. Oh, come on. One second while I visit the tavern. Of course it sends me this power up pack. All right, let me just feed a random two star bunch of one stars all right 
back to it. Alright, so what do I get for my compensation? Here we go. Game's thinking really hard about this. Or it's finding a new way of denying me. Oh, we're doing this right now, game. You haven't told me about it. There we go. Oh! Oh! Okay. Alright, it actually gave me a legendary. This is my first legendary. He looks pretty cool. I don't know anything about him. Let's look. Has 80% chance of stealing one random buff from the target. I like this. A good plan of placing block buffs debuff for one turn. If the target has no active buff. Yeah, still really good. I, I like the, the A1. Um, thinking about a magic keep boss. And he's forced, so he's going to tear that boss apart. So he attacks one enemy three times. Great. Ignore shield and block damage buffs as well as 50% of the target's debuff defense. So he also kills the iron uh, the iron giant or iron golem, whatever it is. That fire giant or I got the name totally wrong, but here we go. Hey, what's up? I got a viewer. I'm opening some sacreds. This is my third one to open. First legendary. First legendary on the account. And this guy seems pretty nice. Let's see. Attacks all en enemies. Has a 50% chance of placing a stun debuff for one turn. Okay. And it has ascension. Uh, decreases the target's turn made by 50% if the stun debuff is not placed. So, great. Great. Alright. Okay, on to the final shard. Alright, so this final shard represents a grind I did a couple nights ago where I three-starred out the Brutal campaign. So, let's see what we get. An epic. Um, I swear I've seen some videos about this guy, or someone that looks really close to him. Tenassel, let's see, A1, 50% of placing a sleep debuff, one turn, and that keeps going up if I devote skill bucks to him. Let's see, 60%. Increased defense buff on all allies for two turns. It heals all allies by 25% of this champion's max HP. Okay, I'm definitely good with that. The increased defense will help me out a lot in clan boss. And the heal as well. So that's definitely a good ability to have uh, for those tough fights that have AoE damage. Uh, what's the cooldown? Four turns? Could it be th three turn? So one turn without decreased defense if I get enough books. And then attack all enemies, decrease the duration of all enemy buffs by one turn. So that's alright. Comes in handy in the magic heat boss fight. So I can, I'm down with that. Long cooldown though. And then the Aora increase ally resist in dungeons by 70. Probably won't use that, but okay. That didn't turn out too bad. I got some really good epics and a really good legendary that I'm going to focus on.